university prices these days are so much and I didn't really want to pay that or get in debt. For most of the summer 2020, I was just living by myself and because we were all in lockdown, I couldn't really go out and see anyone. And I played a lot of games online with my friends, so I didn't really miss out much on talking to them. Hello, I'm Callum Booker, I'm originally from Glasgow and I work at the Rolls-Royce site down here in Derby. I am an apprentice engine fitter currently in my third year. So my name's Molly Rose, I'm a project manager apprentice currently in the Trent 1000 but I switch every six months. Uh, my name's Josh Marriott, I work at Rolls-Royce, I'm an apprentice and I'm from Ripley. There's no typical day as such because as an apprentice we get put on different sort of business placements uh, in different areas of the business and we also do college learning as well so at the moment I do day release college where I go to do college every Wednesday and the rest of the week I'm out on placement in the business. My current business placement is experimental module build so that means I am helping to build different modules for the engine, for uh, engines that are being put into tests, for various things they need to test on really. So experimental engines, they're not engines that will go out onto planes and will be flying engines. Those are engines that are just purely there to be tested. Uh, so that's where I am currently. Uh, I'll be finishing that at the end of March and be put onto another placement. Uh, a typical day for me, it changes every day and especially every six months as we go to different placements. It's like moving into a completely new business um, with all the different practices. But a typical day, because at the moment due to COVID, I'm working from home, would be um, usually turning on my computer, looking at emails, replying to anything urgent, sorting out a few of the processes and systems that I have to as a project manager apprentice and then going to meetings, trying to get answers off people, trying to fill out forms, trying to get the information that I need. Every, every three months it changes really but at the minute I am in prep shop which is experimental for engine build so these engines won't actually fly, all they do is go onto a test bed and get tested to either get certification to go onto a proper engine or they're just testing stuff to try and prevent like further issues or see what issues could arise. I haven't taken part in many STEM activities um, yet. Um, I have signed up to one or two. Um, I think I have actually been signed up to one or two since last year, but with the pandemic, it's not been as easy to get us in because, uh, well, for, very, for obvious reasons, I think the only STEM activity I've actually properly participated in at the moment is the STEM activity for this, you know, providing uh, digital content. So um, some of the things I've been involved in, although they weren't linked with STEM itself, was helping um, organise a day for a school to come. I think the school won a competition so to go around Rolls-Royce. And so I helped organise the day to take them all around the different factories, do a few activities with them, you know, do a little quiz with fun facts about Rolls-Royce uh, at the end. Uh, so I helped out with that. Another day I got involved in whilst I was in nuclear submarines, a group of six 16 year old students. They came um, to kind of learn more about Rolls Royce for the afternoon. I had an hour slot where I really told them, you know, what Rolls Royce is about, what opportunities are there in the future, what threats do we have, you know, the good and the bad of Rolls Royce. And then I was doing one just before COVID to express um, Rolls Royce and engineering in the form of dance and media but that had to be cancelled because of COVID and we couldn't go in and do the sessions we were meant to do with the children. So in a couple of weeks I'm going down to a school in Crawley to do a talk on uh, Rolls-Royce and what we do and all the different sectors of Rolls-Royce and just explaining a bit about like uh, how the engines work and just to give them a little bit of insight into what Rolls-Royce do. I don't really have many traditional hobbies as such. Um, I, I go to the gym regularly and I also like to play games and watch films and TV and that. I do, I do like kayaking but I haven't been doing it since the end of the last year because I recently moved house 
So I've had to leave my last club and look for another one to sign up to. So I'm quite into gaming. I built a PC last year um, to be able to run some of the games I have. I'm very into virtual reality. I have a virtual reality treadmill. Um, so a lot of the gaming, watching films, watching anime. Um, what else do I like to do? I bought a paddleboard during COVID because I wanted an excuse. You were only allowed to really go out to exercise. So I bought a paddleboard and went out in winter in the freezing cold uh, there was ice whilst paddleboarding but i bought a wetsuit so i kept warm um so yeah just all little bits and bobs uh, i like to go to the gym quite a lot uh, something i've been interested in i've been going for about five years now uh, i like to do olympic weightlifting um, and i got quite good at that at one point i went to the british championships My favourite subject at school was probably history. Um, I liked learning about different areas of history, so I guess military history and industrial history, like Industrial Revolution, World War II, Russia, Germany. That's mainly what we covered in uh, history class. I also like just learning about history by myself. So I really liked art and drama. I, I did also like physics a lot, although I weren't hugely amazing at it, but my favourite subjects was art and drama. I quite liked uh, computer science because you could, like the possibilities were endless of what you could do. The only thing that was limiting was how bad I was at it. <laughs> After this apprenticeship, I should be qualified to be an engine fitter, so I can uh, apply for jobs with Royce's. After this, I should have a pretty strong foundation to go for careers, really, which is what I want to be doing. I think it will really help um, because I'm going in, I'm learning the basics of project management. This will help me become a project manager and look after many different projects. Uh, and project management is quite a new thing developing maybe within the past 10 years. 20 years and so for any project which is a lot of businesses you know you have to have a project to have a business uh, I could go anywhere within that so it will really help shape the career that I want. Well first off it will give me good uh, academic foundations like the qualifications which I mentioned earlier I have those and I'll always have those so if I ever wanted to move I could go and work pretty much anywhere which involves like mechanical and hands-on work.